Hello and good morning everyone. I'm coming to you live from Jamaica and I just wanted to highlight um, a couple of plants that are growing in the, you can hear the chickens <laughs> and the rooster in the background. In today's video we will talk about one of the herbs that's very popular and that we use to make tea. This herb is called leaf of life. My uncle calls it rock of life because it has so many medicinal properties and it's used for a barrage of ailments and conditions. It's mostly used for people who are suffering from asthma or may have a, um, a cough or a cold. And I'll be making my morning tea with this plant. So without further ado, here we go. This is the leaf of life plant. It's a herb. It's also, as my uncle likes to call it, the rock of life. And you'll notice that the leaves are green and the edges are scalloped. Look how beautiful those edges are. Nice, thick leaves. So it's actually a succulent. You can tell that it stores water this is the underside of the leaf so it stores water in the leaves and also in the stems so the stems are nice and thick so we use all parts of this plant to make our tea so we'll use the leaves as well as the stem it's a mild tea it doesn't have any kind of a fragrance there's no smell to it it's not aromatic or anything like that and it also flowers now the flowers are usually on top just like this you can see the flowers on top of the plant and it's a small tubular flower it's not flashy it's not showy now look at these leaves so the more this plant is in shade, it's the darker green the leaves are. The scientific name for the leaf of life plant is Bryophyllum pinnatum. My leaf of life leaves have been washed and ready for simmering. We'll place the leaves in water. We'll bring the water to a rolling boil. And then we'll turn the fire off, cover it down and let it steep before it's sweetened. Even though the leaf of life plant is widely grown and known throughout Jamaica and the Caribbean, is actually native to Madagascar. The plant also belongs to the Crassula family, like the Crassula ovata and the Crassula undulata, which are jade plants. I'll add a link below in the description box for a video I did on the Crassula ovata. Everything goes in the pot, stem and all. So we let it come to a rolling boil. We'll remove it from the fire. We'll cover it down and let it steep for a few minutes. And then we'll sweeten. There's the rolling boil we were looking for. So I'll go ahead and I'll turn the flame off and cover it down and let it cool off. Then we'll sweeten. But you'll notice that the leaves are a lighter green, but they stayed intact. And so we went ahead and added the leaves as well as the stem. So everything is in here. Okay. Let's go ahead and turn our flame off. We'll cover it down 
and let it cool. Then we'll sweeten to taste. As I mentioned earlier, the tea is mild, smooth, and odorless. Thank you for watching this video. If you have not yet subscribed, kindly subscribe, like, and share this video. Take care. Bye for now.